Hi Virgo, it is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we're here to do your weekly reading for April 9th through the 15th. We're going to get one of these oracle cards then we're going to break into the tarot deck. We will reveal this card at the end of the reading. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? This is a love reading. All my readings are love readings. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. April 9th through the 15th for Virgo. Worry. Worry. Losing sleep about a decision. despair, sadness, and guilt. Not feeling good about the choices that you're making or not feeling good about yourself. There's a lack of self-worth here. Somebody is not enjoying where they're at, but unable to make a move, may have codependency issues, but I'm not happy, I'm not happy. Definitely. Somebody is not happy. They want to close a door, but they can't. They're letting guilt or worry hold them back from closing a door. They don't see their worth. Somebody isn't seeing what they're worth. There's a feeling of self-doubt unable to accept the truth living something living a lie <laughs> okay I mean, this is the tower card. This is um, a false foundation. There's some sort of upheaval that could happen. A gift from the universe that you may not see as a gift that changes your life because you're not taking action. You're holding on to something that is heavy that you really don't want. You don't need it and you don't want it, but you're holding on to it. And it's heavy and it's causing a lot of stress. And it's like you've persevered, you've done everything you can to make it right. And I feel like you're on the edge. You're on the edge of a breakdown. Thing is, is there's some sort of partnership that someone wants to get out of. Okay? Somebody is feeling like they are no longer connected to a foundation that was built. And it was built based on or it was built on oh I can't my mind is going blank I can see it 
shaky ground okay it was built on shaky ground and it feels as though somebody wants out somebody wants out of this partnership but they're unable to honor the calling you've been told you know what you got to do but i can't do it because i lack i lack the maybe you lack the finances or you lack the um confidence to do it okay both perhaps but i have to tell you nine 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 closure is needed nine is the number of closure nine 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 if you see nine 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 it means it's time to move on okay it is it's time to bring some closure to this situation in which you have been holding on to but you don't want to hold on to okay it's time for closure and I feel like this could be a week where you actually you know break up there could be a breakup there could there's a lot of disharmony in a relationship there is I mean, there could be a separation on the horizon um, divorce or an ending in a relationship okay because it's it's false it's it's not it's not strong anymore the foundation is shaky and somebody doesn't even want to invest in it anymore it's like they've tried they've put it in i've tried and tried and tried to change i've tried to make this work and no matter what it's not changing it's, there's too many relationship problems here it's not going something is not working out and some you somebody may be staying just for the children okay meanwhile they they really want to go someplace else and start over it feels to me like you know you may have to make some compromises but you are gonna I mean that's that's the way it goes okay you're going to have to make some compromises. But the thing is, is that it is time to, to let this go. It's time to release this burden that is weighing you down. It's making you ill. It's making you sick. It's bringing you stress. It's, it's not serving anybody well. Closure is absolutely needed. I mean, we have these two tens. These are completions. It's time to complete this. This is a relationship that is dying. This is a dying relationship right here. It is. Somebody no longer wants to invest in it because they've given it all they can give and now it's time to close the door. Okay, so, you know, I don't know who this is for. It's not going to be for every single person. Generally, with readings, they'll resonate with the people that watch them the most. So those are the people that I connect with. I connect with my tribe that watches my readings in the most. Okay, so that's who these readings are for, typically. All right? So, um, anyway, I think that right now, some of you are carrying around this heaviness. You're ca carrying around this heavy burden in which you want to lay it down. You want to let it go. You want to make this change, but you lack the self-confidence and the self-esteem to do so. And you might not have, and you may be staying in a position because of children, even though the relationship is very rocky and unstable. Okay, it's very unstable. And somebody wants out. Now, I feel like today is, or not today, she's some girl. This week is a week of perhaps the universe, because the tower is a universal card, where the universe comes in and shakes up your life to force you to make a change. So beware. There could be a tower moment with a partner where there's an argument that forces a change. Could be even a breakup. And, it, you know, it could be, you know, there could be some anger. There could be some anger and some fighting this week. I mean, I'm just, that's what I see. You could be dealing with somebody who tries to emotionally blackmail you, you know, because of the kids or because of whatever. You know, so this person might emotionally blackmail you. This one is probably going to be very angry, and these could be the same person. There's, there could be some anger. There could be some fights. There could be some nasty words. There could be some withdrawal. There could be some silent treatments, you know, but this is, this is all, you know, everything happens for a reason because this is a purpose card. Everything happens for a purpose. 
Trust me. Okay? Because somebody is being called to start over. To start new. To take a risk. They're, they're being called to start a brand new journey from ground zero. Okay? So somebody, I think there's an end of a partnership. This is partnership and this is partnership. They're both reversed. Okay? I feel like somebody is fearing this change very, very greatly. I mean, this is a, this this fear of change is holding them back, the fear of the unknown, you know. But it's time to let go of this self doubt. And bring balance back to your life, okay? It is, and to make the compromises that you need to make to restore harmony and peace, okay? Everything happens for a reason. I feel like there's going to be some sort of event or happening that is going to cause some sort of fight. It is. That's what it looks like to me, and it could end up in a breakup. But, remember, everything happens for a reason. Somebody has gone through some sort of evolvement. They've evolved into a new person. And that's not something that you can change. That happens for a reason. It's time to start over. And if you don't lack the strength with the Nine of Wands under here... If you don't if you don't have the strength to take the steps you need to make yourself happy and the universe sees that you are suffering many cases they will come in and give that nudge and it feels like there is going to be some sort of argument that's what it looks like to me that is going to cause a change success I know that there is no greater goal than to love right isn't that what you want isn't that the goal so if you evolved let it happen That's what I have, Virgo. Talk to you later.